Hi everyone, thanks for checking out another InfoSec Hub video. In the last video we talked about Tor and the Tor network, the Onion router, and um, what the basic functionality of the Tor network is and what it can do for you. Um, but the Tor network is nothing without a search engine, because, well, I will show you why. Uh, you see this is an Onion address, so this is a page on the dark web, or on the Tor network. Uh, this is a search engine and they all end with a dot .onion. So we have here a, um, a search engine. We have Haystack being another one uh, that works. Not everything that you, um, uh, like not all the search engines will work. It really depends on uh, bandwidth and how busy it is on the dark web. Uh, I see that. Um, in the background, we have this onion circus running. So these are all the uh, the nodes in the in the network that I can use. You see the IP address, certain bandwidth. Um, here we have DuckDuckGo. This is a search engine that uh, is used on the surface web or the public internet, so to speak, uh, as well. But here uh, is the version on the dark web. You see here uh, clearly the onion address. Um, Another one that I found is the hidden wiki, and this is basically a whole overview um, on various uh, categories on the dark web, what you're looking for. So editor's pick, volunteer, um, financial services, commercial services, uh, domain services, and here I found uh, the fake ID generator, which I will show you in a minute. Um, darknet versions of popular websites. See, you see the New York Times, the Deutsche Welle, uh, BBC. So they all have their own version on uh, the darknet. Um, not because they find it so interesting, uh, for instance, but let's say that you really want to hide your identity. Uh, you want to hide your IP address. You uh, run uh, Tails OS on a USB drive, for instance, because you have confidential information that you want to leak to the press, for instance, um, you can use Tails OS in combination with the Tor browser uh, and you use um, you use the operating system once and with this uh, darknet version you are sure that you, maybe I can connect to it in the meanwhile, let's see if it works. In the meanwhile, um, you can use this a darknet version of a popular website to anonymously leak information to the press. Uh, so, you know, whistleblowers can use this kind of uh, website to um, uh, give the press information on uh, on things that uh, concern them and they want the general public to know, for instance. But they want to stay in the shadow, they want to stay anonymous, um, and it's possible. Let's see if it loads. It's quite slow. Um, so far, the dark web hasn't been very fast to me, but I will go back to this hidden wiki. So this is a Wikipedia page and uh, it lists all the popular websites uh, on the dark web. So this is one that I would really set as a starting point if you're really interested on what's all out there. You see the BBC page still loading. Social networks here, whistleblowing, WikiLeaks. So we heard about the whistleblowers that use WikiLeaks. This is the Onion page for WikiLeaks. Let's see if that works then. Um, let's close this BBC one. I think that will time out eventually. Hosting, website development, file uploaders. I also saw something here of torrents. I will go further into it. But also the, the, the shady stuff, the drugs, the erotica, the everything that uh, you know the dark web is kind of famous for. Um, Forums, I think, Russian, Spanish, Portuguese, peer-to-peer -peer file sharing. Um, important, it's possible to use Tor for peer-to-peer. -peer. However, if you do the right thing, must also be done giving back bandwidth that's used. Okay, so the Pirate Bay, the one that we use 10, 15 years down the line. I hope they open, but it's not really working very fast. Even though I use all the circuits here. You have been cut down. I will check in the meanwhile my own firewall because there might be some things that will be blocked. So let's just see if I can clear out the firewall logging just a second. Maybe that will speed things up again. I don't know. 
you see i'm getting back uh, more um more of these uh, um, notes <clears throat> um if you watch some of my videos i mean i also have an ids and ips running and a firewall and uh, based on uh, certain traffic patterns um this could be blocked uh but let's not drag on this video too long see this is clearly not working here this is what i find uh, so this is kind of funny fake identity id name generator um let's see this tool generates information from algorithms it does not produce actual issued documents page issued this is the tor network section of the website donate to keep it online this is this is funny stuff right this is funny and this is maybe the least um shady yeah this is a shady website but like when it comes to the dark web there's so much stuff out there that i can't show you um but <laughs> you, you see what it's all about also uh, uh onion page um so this the hidden wiki is really like a page that i would suggest to start with right uh, DuckDuckGo works quite well uh, haystack works quite well and this one uh, search sir x works development releases public instances let's visit let's see if it works i really must say that it's not very fast okay let's encrypt all the instances that the search page uses all right let's see if we can find one more example Thor only open source peer-to-peer -peer encrypted messengers let's see if this will open I don't really think so server not found let me go back to the onion circuits some student server Osama bin error funny uh you get the point right i mean it's slow uh i also have a firewall that uh, that's disrupting communications uh, because it is going to a, kind of an illegal section of the internet again browsing the dark web is not illegal um, but you have certain search engines just like on the surface web to make things uh, easier for you um but this is definitely a good uh, page to start out and you can search them right you can still go to dog uh, go and say um, for instance top five search engines dark web and then it will use dog go the dot com version so this one is way faster you can as you can see um click on this and they usually have a link there that you can already open inside this store browser because i am now on the dark web but i can still access the surface web so to speak and the um, only thing you need to do is open in a loo tab and it will grab that on the dark uh, web for instance let's see what else we can show you torch is also one haystack here you got it um yeah I will uh, do a little bit more research on peer-to-peer uh, -peer, uh, file sharing on uh, the dark web because it's also something that I'm interested in and that will be my next video and probably my last video when it comes to the dark web. I was always interested in this and how it works and how it looks like. Um, I must say it's quite slow so you really need to, need to take your time to, to get anywhere. Might also be because of my internet connection with a firewall slash IDS, IPS, that this only happening on my side. But uh, I think this is giving you an overview of what's out, what's out there. And uh, you can search here, whatever, and uh, the haystack already say that it indexed 1.5 billion pages for you. All onion sites, of course. And um, this will give you a great starting point uh, to get started, uh, get started on the darknet. So uh, thanks for watching this video, and uh, we hope to see you in the next one.